Hi, I'm Ryan Szymanski, curator for Battleship New Jersey Museum and Memorial. Recently I've gotten several questions relating to the uh, faceplate of the turret, probably because we, we did a video about the armor scheme there. Uh, all of these questions revolve around the opening where the uh, barrels project from the faceplate and the uh, waterproof covering that protects it. So, the covering we're talking about is this black fabric-y looking thing here. It's known as either a blast bag or a bloomer. Bloomer's probably more of a slang term, like underwear, essentially. Um, but it exists to keep seawater from getting inside the gun. Water and gunpowder have never really mixed that well. Particularly up here at turret one, the lowest and furthest forward of the guns, you would have a tremendous amount of water coming over the bow, and, and I'm basically standing at the breakwater right now, so you can see that the turret one is not that far aft of the breakwater. There, there would be a lot of water, especially when these ships were operating at high speed, heading towards the turrets. The opening in those turrets is kind of large. In uh, these pictures of the ship under construction or mothballing, uh, you can see that there's a big wide oval opening there that gives the barrel enough room to fully elevate from negative two degrees all the way up to positive 45 degrees in turret one in uh, three's case. And uh, so that opening leaves a lot of room for water to enter the turret. The solution to that is the bloomer. It is uh, basically a canvas covering that's been heavily impregnated with a rubberized coating. And this makes it waterproof. It is uh, essentially bolted onto the turret faceplate, and there's a band that wraps around the barrel that's also bolted in place, so that holds it on both ends. You can see that there is a, uh, a gold section of the barrel that is covered with a lubricating oil, so that when the barrel recoils its 42 inches after firing, and then uh, is pushed back in the battery again, it can slide over that bloomer. Oil is hydrophobic, so it further prevents water from getting in that opening uh, where the bloomer wraps around the barrel. If you're building a model battleship, many interwar era ships have a canvas colored bloomer. So for example, the battleships at Pearl Harbor like Arizona, HMS Hood, um, other ships like that often have a white or a tan colored bloomer. But by the time you get into uh, US Navy fast battleships like New Jersey, all the bloomers tend to be black. There are also bloomers like this that protect the five inch guns. However, with the um, ranges that the five inch guns elevated, they never really worked well. And so you see pictures of ships that uh, have them and then pictures of ships that don't, even from relatively similar years. So uh, it seems like New Jersey throughout uh, some of World War II had bloomers on her five inch guns as well as her 16 inch guns but uh, did not for most of her post-World War II career. She always would have had bloomers on the 16-inch guns unless she was in mothballs, in which case, uh, for example, Battleship New Jersey, when we got her as a museum, the bloomers were in the wardroom, just like stacked on the tables, and the gun barrels were at uh, basically zero degrees elevation with metal plates wrapped around them in place of that. It prevented the guns from being able to elevate or depress, but that's okay because the ship was in mothballs. So, the other part of the question I've been getting is, you've got this really great frontal armor. It, it's the uh, thickest layering of armor on the entire ship, and yet it's got these huge holes cut into it for the barrel. Could an enemy projectile punch through those holes? The short answer? is uh, no, not really. The gun barrel itself is filling that hole, and the gun barrel is a huge chunk of armor steel. So uh, I have never heard of any examples of a projectile being able to punch through the hole in the front of a turret, but I have heard of plenty of times when projectiles hit barrels of ships and uh, blew the barrel apart, but did not manage to punch through the hole. So, for example, uh, there, there's a really famous picture of Richelieu, the French battleship, in, uh, uh, in New York Harbor, and you can see that one of her barrels has been blown apart. Like I mentioned earlier, we have the ship's original bloomers on there, 
Uh, how long will they last for? Well, the fact that we're not elevating and depressing the guns means that they're going to stay good for a very long time. However, the rubberized coating will break down in UV light, so we have to occasionally apply new rubberized coating. Uh, things like Flex Seal, believe it or not, are a great substitute for that on uh, rubberized canvas coatings like this or the uh, expansion joint waterproofing. Let us know in the comment section down below if you have any other questions about the ship. We've certainly talked about bloomers in other episodes, but I'm not sure if we've ever done an episode specifically about it. And the, the fact that we were getting so many questions means that even though we talked about it in the past, the fact that we have so many new subscribers means that we need to bring it up again. It's so hard to find our old videos. So uh, drop your questions down below. They might make it into a future video. Battleship New Jersey receives operating support from the New Jersey Department of State, also from a number of other businesses and private individuals like yourselves. We really appreciate your support. There's a link in the description below if you'd like to donate to support the museum. You can also support us by liking, sharing, and subscribing so more people find about the museum and our channel. Thanks for watching.